Hi, this is a cassette deck uh, from the early 80s. It's a Sharp Optonica uh, with model number RT3838. I think that more than this particular model has the same uh, problem, and that is the take up spool doesn't move. The trouble with the take up spool is that you need to uh, go inside the mechanism to change to exchange uh, a rubber sleeve that is used as a take uh, uh, as a rubber idler wheel and to do that you need to remove the front of the of the cassette's door and you need to remove one two three screws on the top and one screw is through this um, cavity down in the bottom uh, you need to have a long screwdriver and then there are two screws underneath that around here then you can remove the uh, tape mechanism there is oh sorry there is one spring here and this connector comes away also this one this card could be removed and this connector over here when you have all these removed you need to uns you, ha you have to take away that cable clamp here and you need to remove one two three screws from this PCB and there is one clamp here that has to be squeezed together um, from the other side I must open now there is one two and three screws which is holding this aluminium uh, tray or plate if you uh, say so and that is to cover the mechanism inside but that cannot be removed until you have removed the whole tape recorder mechanism now when you have that open the tape recorder mechanism and you have removed the plate then you can access the uh, the capstan axis and it's just behind this point here on the capstan axis where the rubber uh, sleeve is damaged so you have to uh, remove that uh, the rest the residue of the the rubber and to replace it with something else I will show you I used a piece of Teflon uh, high voltage cable this cable goes it comes from a, a lab instrument cable and it's good for six kilovolts and it's made out of very soft Teflon and that can be cut in uh, uh, maybe six seven millimeter length and then you can when you have removed the flywheel there is the capstan axis uh, naked and you can uh, when you assemble the flywheel again you can uh, put in that small piece of Teflon uh, yeah how, how do you say the, the, the that will be used as an idler wheel on the uh, capstan axis it's quite complicated um, yes and then my best 
uh, recommendation is to try to to make notes on where the screws go because the screws are not the same size. The story goes on. Um, I forgot to tell you that uh, when you have removed the PCB uh, you still have to remove this plate behind the PCB and that is removed by uh, loosening two screws from the front and this solenoid also comes uh, away. So there are uh, at least two screws holding the plate behind the PCB. This is the only way to get to the flywheel. So I, I hope you manage. Ah, and one thing, don't forget to um, remount Let's see where I am here. Here it is. Don't forget to remount this small lamp because that lamp is supposed to go inside a rubber sleeve and that is uh, lighting this small window on the front. Okay, good luck.